Thank you, Sarah. A lot going on this weekend all across the area. And speaking of all across the area, let's take some camera views from across the region. Monroe looking OK with clear skies there at the top screen there. That's Dallas. That's our tower cam looking off the distance. The city of Charlotte, Lake Norman's looking OK and Kannapolis. It's clear skies there with just a few fair weather clouds. 68 degrees. Our current temperature reading wind northeast about eight miles per hour. Dew point at 64. It's a little bit muggy, but no major issues out there this morning around the region up, up in the mountains. Jefferson and Boone checking in at 60 apiece there. 64 at Hickory in Catawba County, mid 60s at Lincoln and Gastonia. Down at uh, Lancaster and Shura in South Carolina, both spots at 64. That's matched at Rockingham, 61 at Wadesboro, and here in the Queen City, we once again 68 degrees. Here's that weather preview for the weekend. Uh, with every bit of those outdoor activities going on, just make sure that you are aware that uh, have the rain gear handy tomorrow. Rain likely, but with that rain comes much cooler temperatures. 76 the high tomorrow. Near 80 on Sunday with a chance of rain, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms in the afternoon. So Saturday and Sunday, both days, a chance of showers across the region. We'll take a look at Doppler radar right now. Nothing going on here. We do have some band, uh, band some showers off well, in the Gulf of Mexico and pretty close to Charleston, South Carolina. It's some heavy rain moving into that region. So if you have travel plans for Savannah or Charleston this morning, that's where the rain is and the thunderstorms as well. Future cast, things are okay today. Uh, start to see those clouds sticking up overnight. And by tomorrow morning, early in the morning, we could see some light rain here. We take you to about 5 a.m. tomorrow. Heavy rain along Interstate 85, Greenville, Spartanburg, all the way to Gastonia up to Lincoln and into Hickory along the I-40 quarter. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Heavy rainfall west of here and then bands of showers move across the area Saturday on and off all day. That continues overnight into Sunday. So we got a couple days there with a decent chance of rain across the area. As far as any threats, flash flood threat, yeah, that would conclude almost the entire region tomorrow. And then on Sunday, it's all in the northeast of here. The potential for some flash flooding as we take a look at some of the rainfall totals west of here, two to four inches, Charlotte metro area, one to three. That's uh, the range of what we can see as far as precipitation in the tropics would go hurricane Earl pretty close to Bermuda. Then this storm system that's uh, still west of the windward islands down to about a 40% chance of any development in the one off the coast of Africa. Pretty insignificant. Nothing to, to talk about there, but the main threat will be along the Carolina coastline. Rip current outlook from the beaches of north all the way into South Carolina. So be aware that if you get travel plans. We're in the low, maybe even mid 80s out there today. Check the seven day forecast rain tomorrow and Sunday storm chance on Monday. Then better weather ahead, especially by the middle of next week week.